Hi kids! Today we will learn about the blood that flows in our body. So let's start. Blood is a substance that constantly flows through our body. It has some very important role to play in the human body. Blood is pumped to all the body parts by our heart. Now let's first see what is our blood composed of? Our blood is made up of four components. Plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Let's first learn about plasma. Plasma. Plasma is a yellow colored liquid which is mostly water. It is the liquid medium in which the rest of blood cells float. 55% part of the blood is plasma. Now let's learn about... Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Red blood cells or RBCs. These are red color cells that give the blood its color. The main role of RBCs is to carry oxygen and distribute oxygen to all the cells and tissues of the body. 45% of the blood is RBCs. Now, let's learn about white blood cells. White blood cells are the cells that protect us from diseases. Less than 1% of the blood is white blood cells and platelets. Now, Let's learn about platelets. Platelets. The cells that help in clotting the blood when we get a wound are called platelets. They clot the blood to prevent heavy loss of blood. That is, to stop the loss of blood anymore. Now, let's learn the role of RBCs in detail. Red blood cells, also known as erythrocytes, and these are the most common type of blood cells in our blood. Red blood cells make up about 45% of the blood volume. Red blood cells, or the erythrocytes, are produced inside the red bone marrow, and they are produced from the stem cells. About 2 million cells are produced every second. The shape of erythrocytes is by concave. Erythrocytes transport oxygen in the blood through the red pigment called hemoglobin. The cells of our body use oxygen for their working and produce carbon dioxide as a waste. RBCs pick up carbon dioxide from cells and transport it to our heart, where blood is again sent to the lungs to remove carbon dioxide from it and add oxygen to it. When we inhale, we breathe in oxygen. This oxygen is transported to every cell of our body through blood. Blood also carries carbon dioxide back from the cells to the lungs, which is then removed from the body when we exhale. There are about 5 million red blood cells in just one drop of blood. Now let's learn about the white blood cells, also called germinators. White blood cells. 
White blood cells are also known as germinators or leukocytes. Leukocytes make up a very small percentage, that is, even less than 1% of the total number of cells in the blood. But they play a very important function in our body's immune system. These cells fight off viral infections. They also produce antibodies against infections by pathogens. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. And another important function is to engulf and ingest pathogens and the dead cells from the wounds or infections. Whenever there is some infection in our body, our body produces WBCs to fight that infection. Now, let's learn about platelets. Platelets are also known as thrombocytes. These are responsible for the clotting of blood and the formation of scabs on wounds to stop bleeding, that is. Whenever there is a cut, or a wound that's bleeding, platelets starts to gather at the wound and seals the broken blood vessels and stops the bleeding. Now let's learn about plasma. Plasma is a liquid portion of the blood. It makes up about 55% of the blood's volume. Plasma is a mixture of water, proteins, and dissolved substances. Around 90% of plasma is made up of water. The plasma functions as a transportation medium for glucose, oxygen, carbon dioxide, electrolytes, nutrients, and many cellular waste products. Our plasma is made in the liver. So kids, today we learn about our blood and many kinds of cells present in our blood. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.